What do you think our legacy is going to be? Well, I mean, guys like us, we're not exactly the type of people they write about in history books, you know? Mm -hmm. But the people we saved, they're our legacy. And they'll remember us, and then I guess we'll eventually fade away too. On April 21st, 1967, the 100 millionth GM vehicle rolled off the line at the plant in What is that? A blue two-door caprice. It's a smoothie. There was a big ceremony, speeches. The Lieutenant Governor even Where's showed up. Beer? Three days later, another car rolled off that same yeah, line. One of those niggas I know gave two craps about her. But they should have. Because this 1967 Chevrolet Impala would turn out to be the most important object in pretty much the whole universe. She was first owned by Sal Moriarty, an alcoholic with two ex-wives and three blocked arteries. She ended up at Rainbow Motors, a used car lot in New Orleans, where a young Marine bought her on impulse. That is, a advice from a friend. I'm sorry, have you met us? I guess that's where this story begins. I remember many things. I remember being at a shoreline, watching a little gray fish heave itself up on the beach. And an older brother saying, don't step on that fish, Castiel. Big plans for that fish. I remember the Tower of Babel. I remember Cain and Abel, David and Goliath, Sodom and Gomorrah. And of course, I remember the most remarkable event. Remarkable because it never came to pass. It was averted by two boys, an old drunk. You don't ever think about and a fallen something? angel. The grand story. We ripped up the ending. Not marriage, or whatever. And the rules. Or and destiny. Something? Leaving nothing but freedom. Did. And choice. I saw a world without pain. Or hunger or want. I saw the world that this child will create. And it is a new world without fear. And without suffering. And without hate. Well, what do you think? It's like I'm you! No, it's not. Okay. Eyes on the road. She feels good, doesn't she? Yeah. I saw paradise. Oh, oh, oh. all right. So what's it all that up to? I'd say, for me, I'd say this was a test. Sam and Dean. And I think they did all right. Up against good, evil, angels, devils, destiny, and God himself. They made their own choice. They chose family. And, well... Because I love you, Jack. Isn't that kind of the whole point? Sam and Dean, they love you. No doubt. Endings are hard, but then again, nothing ever really ends.